In the name of Allah, the one after Son, the merciful. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? We'll be doing great by the mercy and grace of Almighty Allah. My name's N. A. Sakeb. I'm your husband, to IELTS trainer. Additionally, been also teaching the students of spoken English for the last 20 years at the platform of Genius Institute Lahore. Dear friends, if you are interested in online classes or on campus classes, you're welcome. You can contact our number given in the description. Thank you. My today's lecture would be about IELTS writing task 2 and it would be about body paragraph. You know that there are three constituent elements of uh, an essay and they are introduction, body and conclusion. As far as the body is concerned, that's the main focus of ours today. We'll be talking about the body paragraph and not exactly about the body paragraph, we'll be having a bit of comparison of two body paragraphs and we'll be just having an analysis at the end what body paragraph is the better of the two. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to give you a task question. Just try to understand this question first and then we'll be writing two different body paragraphs and then we'll be having a comparison or analysis later. My task question will be like this and I will advise you to write it down on your notebooks so that you may have a further, uh, you know, thinking about uh, this particular body paragraph, which one is better and which one is not and what are the reasons of one being better. All over the world, Societies are facing a growing problem with obesity. The problem affects both children and adults. What are the reasons for this rise in obesity? And how could it be tackled? Let me repeat the question, please write it down. All over the world, Societies are facing a growing problem with obesity. This problem affects both children and adults. What are the reasons for this rise in obesity? How could it be tackled? You must have a note that all essays will follow the same structure. No, it's a problem solution essay. So it will follow a specific structure. At the end of this lecture, I will let you know what is the general paragraphing which can be used in all essay types. Now, this is going to be my first example of uh, body paragraph. So you better write it down. One of the reasons people are becoming obese these days is that they eat junk food like hamburgers and chips. Now, in the first sentence, actually, I have given you, or rather, I have identified the problem. The solution is for the government to raise tax on fast food. And what is this? This is a solution proposed, a solution provided. I think that this is necessary to stop obesity. Also, people eat big portions and do not do much exercise. So this is the end of the body paragraph. Another problem has been, you know, identified here. So what I have done, I've given you a problem, then I've given you a solution, and then again, I have also talked about another problem. So that was the composition of the first body paragraph. Just keep in your mind. Now, example of the second body paragraph. One of the reasons that people are becoming overweight these days is that they are eating more junk food rather than cooking healthy meals at home. So, 
This is the first sentence of the body paragraph and it is the topic sentence. Now, the next one. This is because people tend to lead a busy life and after a long day at work, it's easier to just busy, rather, sorry, buy ready meals in the supermarket or get a takeaway. So that was actually the sporting sentence. It is put in the first sentence and that's the topic sentence. Now, proceeding further for this paragraph, for instance, and that's going to be the third sentence, for instance, in the UK, sales of these types of food have risen sharply since 1990. Full stop. One reason is that Busy people see cooking at home as time consuming. So this is a specific example which has been given on the third number in this body paragraph. Now the next one. So, the, so to tackle this issue, the government should take steps to increase the tax on high fat, high sugar, or unhealthy foods. This is a possible solution. Going ahead, therefore, consumers will think twice about the foods they consume, which could lead to them losing weight. And that's the result given at the end of the body paragraph. So my dear friends, uh, it's obvious you would have seen there are five different things in the second body paragraph and it's so obvious that example number two is much better paragraph because it follows the structures below a topic sentence, then a sporting sentence, then a specific example, then a possible solution and then a result. So this is the perfect example of an ideal body paragraph, I must say. So, uh, we can also say what a perfect synthesis of five components, of five elements, uh, which have made or formed uh, a connected whole. What are those? Topic sentence, sporting sentence, specific example, possible solution and result. Mind you, this is the body structure of the problem solution essay. This is not applicable everywhere. Whereas, uh, uh, whereas the general Paragraphing is concerned. There are three constituents elements and fourth can be added if it's necessary. What are those three? Uh, f number one is the topic sentence. Number two would be the sporting sentence. And number three would be example, a specific example. And the fourth sentence regarding the opinion can be added if the question asks for one. That's it, my dear friends. I've given you the comparison of two body paragraphs and you would have understood what is the better and why that is better. What are the constituents elements of a wonderful body paragraph and which can fetch good band results as far as your IELTS result is concerned. My dear friends, I'll see you with another uploaded video. Until then, take care of yourself and bye-bye.